Hi, so Kit Plugins have released another item from the infamous Blackbird Studios in Nashville. And this time it's a plugin modeling the reverb chamber from Studio A. Now also available for Windows, so I can check it out. And I'll also compare it to some other similar reverb plugins. So let's go. Now Kit Plugins did provide me with a license for this plugin so I could check it out for you, but it's not a sponsored video and they have not seen this video before I released it. Now with that out of the way, let's have a look at their website, which states that version 101 is now available with lower CPU usage and Windows compatibility. And currently there's an introductory sale where the plugin costs $75, where normally it costs $149. Their website also states that the BB Chamber A plugin precisely emulates the renowned reverb chamber from Blackbird Studio A, recognized globally for its clarity, sheen and versatility. The reverb chamber within Blackbird Studios A has played a pivotal role in countless iconic productions. This chamber, meticulously crafted with a movable ceiling, stands out as one of the most legendary reverb chambers ever constructed. So that promises a lot. Let's have a look at it in Cubase on a demo project that I have made. I initially made this project for another video with some guitars and a bass guitar. But let's first check out the drums and listen to those drums without a new plugin. Now, as you can tell, there's already a bit of a room sound reverb on there. One is that I put a specific reverb on the snare, which I think I'm just going to leave in because it's really part of the snare sound. But the other part of the room sound comes from the room microphones, which you can see over here. And I'm just going to set that to zero so that we can simulate adding a room sound with the new plugin. Yeah, there's still a bit of reverb on the snare. Let's kill that, see how it sounds. Now, for me, that's really part of the snare sound, so I'm gonna leave that on. But the full drum set is sounding pretty dry right now without the room mics. Yeah, great. So let's add a new plugin to the drum group channel. And normally I would probably use this as a send effect, but for this demo, I'm just going to put it on the group channel directly and not set the mix to 100%. Now this is a plugin. At the top you have your undo and redo buttons. We have a preset management system where you can make your own presets. And there are two collections in there from Blackbird and from Kit plugins. I understand there's also some preset sharing community, which I haven't really delved into yet, but that allows you to import presets and refresh presets, reload the current preset for resetting, and you can check out where the presets are. Now you have two versions that you can compare. You can copy from A to B by right clicking, which gives this little animation. And then the settings from slot A have been copied to slot B. Then you can change one and then quickly go back to the previous one. There's also an options menu here, which allows you to change the UI size from small to medium to large. But I think medium is probably okay for the screen that I have over here. You can link the UI size, meaning that um, the size you set over here will be adjusted on all the Chamber A presets in the project. Go to the manual, go to the support page, and you can reset any warnings. And I'm not exactly sure what it does in the manual. It just says it resets any factory warnings, but I haven't seen any so far. Now that's more for the household preset stuff on top here. Now let's dig into the sound. Because on the right side, you can see a little picture of the Chamber A there. And on the left side, you can adjust the ceiling height, which is definitely a unique feature of this reverb chamber and this plugin. And when you listen to it, it makes the reverb shorter. So let's have a quick listen. Let's start with the highest ceiling. Let's overdo it a bit so that you can clearly hear the reverb. Yeah, it clearly makes the reverb a lot tighter if you lower the ceiling. You have an option of using three different microphones in that chamber. Let's start with the C24. Yeah, it definitely gives a bit of variation in the sound. And you can also position those microphones on the floor like they are now, as you can see here in the picture, or you can also hang them from the ceiling. And then if you lower the ceiling, you can see that the microphones are lowered accordingly. Let's see what kind of difference that makes.
Okay, let's put them back on the floor. Now as source, you can select direct, and that means that you get the sound of that reverb like the instrument is in the room itself. Because you can also switch it to a hi-fi speaker, meaning that whatever you put the reverb on is played through that speaker and then picked up by those microphones. Looks a bit like a barefoot speaker here, but you can also make it a PA speaker that gets recorded by the microphones. Let's have a listen to the differences. Yeah, that PA speaker definitely has a bit of a more raw, more grainy sound. And there's the usual pre-delay as on any reverb, meaning that the onset of the reverb will be later than your original source sound. And by the way, with any of these controls, you can shift drag for finer adjustments and you can alt click for setting it back to the default position and you can double click for entering any value via your keyboard. The mix knob which determines how much of the original signal is still heard. Zero is all original signal and 100 means that you only hear the reverb signal and that's typically the way you would use it on the send effect. Now on the left side you have your input control for the reverb chamber, on the right side you have your output control and you can also saturate the reverb sound. Let's have a listen to that. Yeah, it can get very crunchy like that. You can also put a low pass filter and a high pass filter on the reverb, which means that you can also set it for that Abbey Road reverb sound, which I actually have a separate video about, which I'll link in the description and at the end of this video. Let's have a listen. Currently the filter is set to pre-chamber, so the signal is affected that is going into the chamber, but you can also affect the signal that is coming out of the chamber via the post filter. And when I tried this earlier, I noticed that the post filter actually keeps working even when you switch it to pre, so it's not either or, but it seems to be both at the same time. But let's send it back to full band. Now there's also an equalizer that you can use on the reverb sound. Taking out some low mids usually sounds good. And you can switch on the compressor if you want to. And it can really compress extremely high as you noticed. Now the compressor can also be switched to a ducker, meaning that the actual reverb will be ducked when your original signal is playing very loudly and the reverb will come up after your original signal dies away, which is a bit hard to demonstrate on drums. But if I turn it up fully, you can probably hear it ducking. Yeah, it's a nice addition. And finally, you can also resize the plugin, not only with the menu, but also with this corner over here. Now, before I go on with the comparison, if you like this video or find it useful at all, please give it a big thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm so that it gets shown to more people. And to further help me with that, you can also subscribe to the channel and ring the little bell icon so you get notified when I publish another video. For even more support, you can consider using the super thanks button below the video, which is a virtual tip jar, or when you intend to buy anything at one of these shops anyway. If you do so after clicking one of the affiliate links in the description to that shop, you can buy anything at those shops, not just the products that I'm linking to, but I will then get a small commission without any additional cost to you, which is highly appreciated. But let's get back to the Blackbird Chamber A plugin. Okay, let's now compare this reverb on drums to some other well-known recent reverb releases, which also can simulate the sound of a chamber or a room. And I'm not comparing them to see which one is better, because I haven't set them up to match as closely as possible. But I did choose kind of similar reverb sounds, so that you can hear what you can get from this new Kit Plugins reverb versus some of the other reverbs that I'm demoing. Now I'm going to compare this to, first of all, the UAD Sound City Studios, because that's also typically a plugin that gets used to add room sounds, which we also try to do with the Kit Plugins reverb, right? We remove the room microphones from the drum set and we try to add ambience with this reverb. And the Sound City Studios here can do the same thing. I think I used the live drums preset over here. And I'm using it only in reverb mode, meaning that I'm not remiking any of the sounds or putting it through the Sound City consoles, for example, which is also possible with this plugin. But I'm not using it like that. I'm just going to go for the reverb sound. And the other plugin that I'm going to use for the comparison is another chamber plugin. So that's probably more comparable. 
And this is their Drum Chamber A preset with, I think this is a ribbon microphone as well. So the Chamber A plugin from Kit Plugins is also set to a ribbon microphone here. Let's choose the same amount of pre-delay here. And this one is very sensitive when it comes to the amount of reverb. So I set it to sound a bit similar regarding that. And since this chamber is going through a speaker, let's also set this one to a speaker so that we can compare them a bit. So let's listen to the differences. And I'm starting with the Kit Plugins BB Chamber A. Yeah, to me they sound quite different. The kit plugin sound is really a reverb sound. Now the Sound City plugin adds more of an ambience to me. It's like the drum set is actually in that studio. And it also seems to emphasize the kick a bit more. Now the Capital Chambers I feel is more similar to the kit plugin's chamber. It just sounds a bit more dark to me. But let me know what kind of differences you hear in the comments. Let's now have a look at the Blackbird Studio A chamber on some other instruments. For example, in this project, I also have some double tracked rhythm guitars. Let's have a listen without the Chambers plugin on there yet. Yeah, very basic rock beat. And let's see what kind of presets are available for this. Over here, I have some electric guitar presets, bass or inserts. Well, actually, let's choose this one then. Probably a more raw sound, has a bit of saturation, some low and high pass filtering, some EQ and a slight bit of compression and it's going through a PA speaker. The mix is 100% because it's a bus preset but I'm using it as an insert so I'm going to take that down and see what this adds. Okay, let's remove it and add it. Yeah, it definitely puts the guitars a bit further away in the mix. Let's actually add the bass guitar in this mix and see how it sounds in total now with the reverb on both the drums and the electric guitars. And now taking the reverb away from the guitars and the drums. Yeah, quite dry in comparison. I like the version with the reverb better. Now let's have a listen to what it sounds on the vocal. And this is an entirely different project with a bit more of a female pop voice. Let's have a listen without any reverb on there. I used to hide in the shadows, afraid to let my light shine But now I'm stepping into the spotlight, breaking free from my own mind Very dry. Now in the BB Chamber A plugin, I selected the Rock Female Blend preset which plays through a PA speaker, ceiling is lowered a bit, C24 microphone, a very slight amount of pre-delay, cutting a lot of the highs and there is a ducker on there I see. So let's blend this in and see what it sounds like. I used to hide in the shadows, afraid to let my light shine But now I'm stepping into the spotlight, breaking free from my own mind I've been through the fire, I walked through the rain But every sucker's made me stronger, it's helped me find my own way Yeah, it definitely puts it more in the background as well, compared to hearing it fully dry yeah, so what do you think of this new plugin from Kit Plugins? Does it add something to your reverb arsenal or is it very similar to what you have already? How do you think it sounds on these examples? Let me know in the comments. I think it adds some nice new features. I've never really seen a plugin in which you can lower the ceiling of your chamber, but I guess that's one of the unique features of this chamber in Blackbird Studios. And it also adds some very nice features in one plugin, like the distortion and the ducker, for example. But again, let me know what you think. Now a nice reverb technique which works very well on this plugin is the Abbey Road reverb technique. And I've done a separate video on that that you can see over here. Check it out, enjoy and see you soon.